Hi, I'm here at the Community Garden in Sackville, New Brunswick. So it's spring and it's time to start thinking about what to plant in your plots. So when you got your community garden plot, you might have had some specific ideas about things you wanted to plant, which is great. So make a good list of those vegetables and flowers and herbs. And then from there, you want to start narrowing it down. One thing to consider about a community garden plot is that it's a bit different than a backyard garden because you're not going to be visiting it every day. So if you walk by on the trails every day with your dog, maybe you can plant things that you harvest every day, like beans or cherry tomatoes. If the garden is something that more like you visit every week or two weeks or even longer in the summer when it gets really busy, you may want to plant things like root vegetables, maybe kale, head lettuces, larger sized tomatoes that can sit in the ground and can wait to be harvested. So you don't have to pick them at the peak of ripeness. You can be a bit more flexible around the timing for those. Another thing to consider is that you want to plant annual vegetables in the community garden. So you want to be able to clear out the bed at the end of the year and then somebody can start fresh, whether it's you or another person. So that means not planting herbs or vegetables or fruits that are perennials, especially not things that can be invasive like mint or horseradish. Those are no-nos. If there's something that's perennial that you really want to grow, and have it be a part of your garden. Uh, there are other areas just not in your plots. And something else to think about is the size of the plants that you're going to plant. When you're picking out cultivars or picking out transplants to grow, for something like uh, tomatoes or cucumbers or zucchini that can get pretty big, you'll often see varieties that are listed as dwarf or patio or uh, mini and those are great ones for a community garden plot because you can fit more into the space as well You can see they're pretty close to each other So you don't want to plant a squash or a pumpkin that's going to vine into your neighbor's uh, Community garden plot or obstruct pathways and finally I would say maybe concentrating on growing less things than you may initially think so maybe growing like six different types of crops in your bed and trying to grow quite a bit of them. It's taking that list and really whittling it down to the things that you really want to grow and that you really uh, think will work here. It's going to make it easier to focus your attention on those crops and solve problems as they come up, especially if you're a new gardener. If you're an experienced gardener, go to town and make it as diverse as you would like. But again, there's also other areas in this garden that are going to have cut flowers, that are going to have squash, that are going to have different kinds of herbs to harvest. So uh, pay attention to those and we'll talk more about them at another time.